In the headlines, several communities to benefit from infrastructure projects under an agreement between Japan and the local community authorities. New President Sheldon Shelley Alfred vows to advance the cause of the Association of Music Professionals. And Kavem Hodge prepares to make history as the West Indies team begins its Bangladesh tour Tuesday night. I'm Andrea Louis with the Channel 5 News, back with the details after this. We are resilient and we will get through this together. But these are stressful times and it's important to also practice good self-care. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, anxious or afraid. But there is hope. Reach out to someone, connect with your friends, stay in touch with your community and know that you are not alone. We're in this together. This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Thank you for staying with us. First up, 150,000 US dollars to be spent by the government of Japan to further assist Dominica's journey to resilience. The Dominica Association of Local Community Authorities, DALCA, signed an agreement with the government of Japan for the rehabilitation of two emergency shelters and the construction of an 800 foot storm drain. Administrative Officer with DALCA, Vicenz George, says these projects will benefit hundreds of people in the communities of Mahu, Dubla, Viecas, and Penville. The Dominican Association of Local Co Community Authorities has previously received support for successful implementation of two projects, namely Sustainable Disaster Community Preparedness and the Renovation of Hurricane Shelters. Two high-impact programs geared at enhancing the lives of our community residents, and for this we are truly grateful. George says Dominica's disaster-prone nature makes these projects extremely timely for the country. Vulnerability to climate change in Dominica is aggravated by the external pressures affecting its resilience and adaptive capacity in many sectors. Though the country is gracefully recovering from the devastation of Hurricane Maria, which made landfall in September 2017, timely access to international financing, technology development, and capacity transfer is priority. In World of Stories, New president of the Association of Music Professionals has vowed to do his best to move the industry forward. Julian Morris has that story. The Association of Music Professionals, AMP, was registered in Dominica in 2007 with the aim of providing practitioners in the industry with adequate representation and training in various aspects of the music business. After a few years of dormancy, moves to revamp the organization started late last year and just over the weekend, AMP members met to elect a new executive. Songwriter and lead singer of Signal Band Sheldon Shelley Alfred topped the polls with 33 votes and is now president of AMP. Alfred says now is the ideal time to turn talk into action for stakeholders in the industry. I feel really, really honored to have been elected by my industry colleagues to take on this role on their behalf. I think this is the opportune moment to transform all the talk into action. Hence, my vision for AMP is to be the sounding board and the representative for all practitioners in the industry, despite all the factors that we think divides us, such as our roles, our experience, our gender, and access to resources. I think we should use AMP as a safe space to accept the multifaceted nature of the industry. Let us discuss the challenges, gather our resources, and be representative of one voice. 
Taking up the vice president position on AMP is Mikhail Henderson, who garnered 32 votes. She pledged the executive's commitment to address real issues facing the sector. A new day has dawned for music in Dominica. And as the new executive for AMP, we will attempt to address the real issues affecting the sector, engaging the necessary stakeholders with a view to act on rather than just discuss a way forward. The rest of the AMP executive reads singer-songwriter Colton T, that's Colton T. Thomas as secretary, music producer Yuri Jones as treasurer, music publicist Tayola George as public relations officer, music executive Dion Henderson will serve as a board member, while songwriter singer singer-songwriter Marie Pascal Lafana will be an uh, will be AMP's assistant secretary. The new executive will next meet to determine the bylaws and rules that they will be governed by moving forward. In other developments, Calypso lovers now have the opportunity to view this year's Calypso finals via pay-per-view on Flow Evo Channel 104. Cable and Wireless Flow Dominica is pleased with the feedback on last weekend's first ever Calypso semi-finals brought to customers via pay-per-view. So over the weekend, we were quite excited for the very first time, we presented a pay-per-view option on Flow Evo for our customers. And it was the pay-per-view of the Calypso semi-finals, which took place at the Old Mill um, Cultural Center. Of course, we all know that due to COVID, you know, there are major restrictions. So the Calypso Association had to look at other options to provide opportunities for customers to view. And based on the partnership that we have with the Calypso Association as a main sponsor, we looked and explored the option of doing pay-per-view of the semi-finals. I must report that the pay-per-view was excellent the quality was exceptional and our customers were very happy and grateful for the opportunity to be able to view the calypso semi-finals via paper pay-per-view so we are here to say that the same will be done for the calypso finals which takes place on february 13th here are the details on how you sign up to access the calypso finals on flow evo channel 104 customers will pay a fee of $50 plus VAT to view the Calypso finals. We want to encourage you to sign up either via the Flow flag flagship store. You can also sign up at any of our partner locations. And we're talking about Club DVD in Marigot, Cabritz Agencies in Portsmouth, as well as Depex in Roseau. The finals will be available again via the same channel, channel 104 on Flow Evo and we want to encourage you to sign up. Another way you can sign up as well is by calling 440-3569. I will repeat 440-3569 or you can send a WhatsApp to 277-3569. These are our virtual store contact numbers and you can make contact and get ready to view the best quality of the Calypso Finals on Flow Evo, Channel 104, on February 13th, Compliments Flow. In other developments, a renewed appeal to the youth to get more involved in the agriculture industry. Here is Julian Morris with more. The sentiment being echoed by Extension Officer with Dexia's multi-purpose pack horse Mervyn Thomas following a recent visit to Dashin farmers in Rivia Sirik, Bells and Grandfour. Dexia officials were informing Dashin farmers on recent developments in the industry and growing demand for their product. While commending their farmers for their commitment to agriculture, Thomas says the age of the majority of the current farmers is a concern and more youth need to get on board. We also see that the you know, how do we get young persons involved in, in the production of, of a crop like dashing and other agricultural produce, you know, and um, I think to the, the whole idea of the labor intensive nature of, you know, establishing a dashing field and, and how uh, we could mitigate against those things. For example, the use of, of postal diggers and we already know that coming out of the discussions that that there are farmers who are already utilizing such a, 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 a tool um the use of brush cutters instead of hand weeding so yes there are ways and means of i think selling this whole idea of dashing production and and the production of fresh produce on a whole to to, to young farmers 
um, we cannot continue to depend on, on our aging or aging farmers. Women were commended for their growing presence in Dashian farming over the years. Thomas reminded farmers that there are tremendous opportunities for the crop and urged them to stay committed to the task at hand. It's important that we take advantage of those opportunities, marketing opportunities, as it relates to you know, extra regional markets like the UK and the US. There's tremendous potential for marketing the crop. Of course, we made mention of, of value-added products in terms of dusting chunks and so on. So the, the farmer stands to win. No longer a farmer receives, would receive, you know, rejects and that sort of thing. So there is, of course, tremendous opportunities and, uh, for, for, for the crop. And it's important that we, we continue to engage young persons. The idea of farmer groups, and we saw that in River Sirik and, and, and Bears, they are active, even Grandfather. They are uh, farmers groups and the idea is to how can we get those farmers groups, you know, in terms of working as a cohesive unit to, to really get a consistent supply of, of the crop. You are watching the Channel 5 News. Stay tuned for more after the break. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. We are strong, we are resilient, and we will get through this together. But these are stressful times, and it's important to also practice good self-care. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, anxious, or afraid. But there is hope. Reach out to someone, connect with your friends, stay in touch with your community, and know that you are not alone. We're in this together. This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. Welcome back. Cable and Wireless Flow Dominica has launched a new promotion allowing customers who sign up for one of two bundled packages to walk away with a Samsung A7 tablet for only $99 plus one month free service. Marketing and Communications Manager at Cable and Wireless Flow Dominica, Ferdinand Frampton, shares details of this new promotion. That promotion allows our customers who sign up for either our all-in bundle or our all-in plus bundle package to get a Samsung A7 tablet for only $99. Now this tablet generally costs over $1,000, but we're giving it to customers who sign up for either one of these bundled packages for only $99. This also comes with free installation, so you do not pay to sign up for the service, and you also get one month one month free service as well so all in bundle or all in plus bundle samsung a7 tablet only 99 dollars free installation and one month free service of course all of this on the fastest broadband on the most reliable network in dominica and the most revolutionary television product that you've experienced here in dominica some of the features of the tablet, it's 10.4 inch LCD screen, that's what it has, 5 megapixel selfie camera, 8 megapixel main camera, and it also has a card slot. In terms of our packages, so let me just share with you, our bundled packages, the all-in bundled package comes with up to 30 megabytes of data, 127 channels 250 minutes to mobile and unlimited minutes to local fixed lines the all-in plus bundled package comes with up to up to 50 megabytes of data 153 channels flow sports pack 500 minutes to mobile unlimited minutes to local flow fix lines and 300 international minutes to call the united states canada and uk landlines you cannot miss out on an opportunity like this 
and some welcome news for the people of Penville. They can now access Flo's fixed line service. We are so excited to bring our fixed services to you so you can now sign up for our broadband and our revolutionary TV product. Of course, these are available to you, whether through our all-in bundle package or our all-in plus bundle package plus you get that amazing deal of the 99 dollars on the tablet as we speak the service is set up at paradise cafe in penville that's paradise cafe bar in penville so if you're interested in seeing what the television product looks like you can go to paradise cafe and experience the revolutionary flow evil TV product. Our, our, our D2D agents are in the area. Look out for them and sign up for Flow Evil, now available to the people in Penville and the Grand Four. We are coming to you next. We are actually doing the preparatory work in Grand Four as we speak to bring them the service. So sign up today. And Dominicans are expected to follow closely as right-handed top-order batsman Kavem Hodge prepares to make history on the West Indies tour of Bangladesh, which begins Tuesday night. This is Hodge's first tour with the team, and the cricket commentators say the fact that he also bowls left-arm spin has certainly helped his cause. The first test match is scheduled for February 3rd to 7th, the second from 11th to 15th February. Former national cricketer and cricket commentator Delvin Esprit says this is Kavim's chance to secure his place on the West Indies team. I want to congratulate Kavim again for, for making the West Indies team. As you know that he gets his opportunity now that he has to look to, to cement his pick on the West Indies team. As the team is coming against Bangladesh tonight, we hope that he can make the 11-man squad to play on the first 11 and be part of the team and, and go there and perform. So it's up to the selectors to, 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 to consider him tonight and if he get the opportunity to play with does wish him the best that he can go and just occupy the crease, get runs, score runs because the whole of Dominica is behind him. You know, you know, guys and so when you make a team and so on, fellas just get very complacent. So we don't want we don't come in getting very complacent when Kevin go in there and perform and do his best for for, for the West Indies and, and representing Dominica. Apparently Bangladesh themselves have had their own challenges losing some of their championships previously and so on prior to COVID and so on. But they coming into this, you know, hungry. So guys, Kevin and others have to really come ready. Well, here's the West Indies team. As you know, they, they say it's a second stream West Indies team, but to me, all, all West Indies team you pick now is second stream. So, because the, the first set of guys and some not performing, all guys seem to be, it looks like it's a money situation that's going on now that the guys making themselves very comfortable playing 2020 and 50 overs cricket. So, it does open the door for guys like Calvin now to come in there and cement his pick on the West Indies team. He have a golden opportunity in Bangladesh. He's a spinner. He, I, I know he does bat pretty well against a spin, but as you know, Bangladesh have a very good spin attack. So, we're just hoping that Calvin can come there. What he has to do as well is to really occupy the crease and look to get a hundred. If he, if he if he did not play that first test match, hopefully that he can come in for the second test match and do well. But we're just hoping that he can get a match in that in that tour in that in that test series and represent Dominica well and represent West Indies well. Would you have wanted to hear a little more in the media to a little more uh, uh, about this today in the media, Mr. Esper, in terms of hyping the the whole thing in terms of the visibility of that and having the young people aware of what's happening. Well, yes, as you know, and 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 as is 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 a, is, a, is a really, I can say, very soft thing with nobody talking really about it and so on. All year, on, on the, as you know, that is not only one radio station giving sports in Dominica, and and that is where the issue is. And so you don't have three, four radio stations involved in sports. So you only have one radio station giving sports, and and the majority of the thing they talk about, they talk to Phil Simmons, they talk to everybody else, and so on. And and, and I never hear anything about maybe talking to Kevin just before that 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 test match. And as you know, it's very difficult because you hear Phil Simon talking about Rakim Conrad. You know, all kind of things that the coaches and, and, and Roddy Eshik and all of them running them off and so. But we in Dominic and so on, as you know, is one, 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 one radio station giving sports. So, and they, they, they really cementing their talk, talking to, the, to the, the, the coach and manager of the West Indies team. To me, that don't make no sense at all to me because we were hearing the same thing from all the time. What I think that should have happened is that he should be talking to Carvin and, 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 and find out the level of Carvin and, and maybe build his confidence going towards that test match. So, we're definitely hoping that everything can turn around for that young man. He has worked hard, he's a very dedicated young man. Uh, his father has supported him full time and the, West, the Dominican public have supported him. So we're just hoping that he can stay there, cement his pick on the West Indies team and make us proud.
everybody will be watching what are your plans how do you normally um uh, execute you, your viewing of of of, of world-class cricket like that do you stay up all night or what how do you do that well a matter of fact and so on i just stay up i i, I usually the only test match with india and australia i was staying up all the time i was watching good test cricket west in spain and so on in the night i usually watch cricket it doesn't matter what time they play cricket since i'm home and so on i'll watch cricket. it doesn't matter they start at one o'clock i'll be there i always like to see the first ball of a test match but as you know and so on, we have to support the west indies team but i can tell you straight that west indies team have a lot to learn in terms of of, of cricket because you hear the coach talking about the guys not batting well he's talking about the guys not batting spin and and really making some kind of excuses but i think the guys have to work on their cricket itself, develop their cricket. If it's cricket they like to play, work on their cricket and I think they can get better working on their cricket. But you don't expect a coach to come and work on you in less than no time. And I just believe that the, the, the players, Calvin and the rest of the guys just have to go there tonight. And the rest of the team have to just go there tonight and perform against Bangladesh because as you know those two teams really in the bottom of the table. And it, it will be a, when, when two teams at the bottom of the table, that will be a real even contest in terms of two teams at the bottom of the table fighting to, to be better than each other there. So they have something to play for. It's, it's like a semi-final between those two teams because they're really fighting to, 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 see, to go up the ladder to see who will be for who. So definitely we want Kevin to do well and we're hoping that he can come there tonight and we're hoping that the selectors can give him opportunity to play his first test match in Bangladesh and that will not be his last. This is indeed big for Dominica. Definitely big for Dominica, as you know that the Dominica is like West Indies, it doesn't matter West Indies losing, they stay in the night, they support and so on. We lost a, lot, a number of fans and so because nowadays there's people I think that's supposed to be supporting West Indies. They're asking you what is the score, so that means they say things are really bad for the West Indies team. And, and as well, now we have a Dominican, so maybe they'll get an opportunity to watch it. If he's playing, they will watch, but I suspect he can't be not playing and so on. You might find a lot of Dominicans missing their sleep to watch West Indies cricket because they just hope to just get the scores in the morning and settle with that. West Indies are scheduled to play three ODIs and two tests. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. We are resilient and we will get through this together. But these are stressful times and it's important to also practice good self-care. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, anxious or afraid. But there is hope. Reach out to someone, connect with your friends, stay in touch with your community and know that you are not alone. We're in this together. This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. To end the news, the headlines again. Several communities to benefit from infrastructure projects under an agreement between Japan and local community authorities. New President Sheldon Shelley Alfred vows to advance the cause of the Association of Music Professionals. And Kavem Hodge prepares to make history as the West Indies team begins its Bangladesh tour Tuesday night. Feel free to access our past newscasts on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Andrea Louis. And to all of our viewers around the world, thank you so much for watching. Join us next time.